We've seen bottles on shelves tossed into bins, bundled into bales, and shredded and dumped into bags. This whole process spans hundreds of kilometers and now the rebirth of a plastic bottle. This is how it comes to us and then we, we reprocess it into another product. Mark Rath is a manager at Peninsula Packaging. It's here that pieces of plastic become consumer-ready products like carry-out trays at grocery stores and cafeterias. It will become a plastic sheet and eventually a, a thermal form product. Meaning basically that this part of the plant melts and flattens plastic so that another part can shape and mold it. But the process is a little more complex. If we take the clear chips like this and it goes into uh, an oven and it, it cooks for about three to four hours. Now that's at nearly 200 degrees Celsius and when the goop comes out they form the plastic into food packaging. In order to do that you need to have, you need to, to squeeze it out into a wide long sheet. That squeezing takes place in several stations throughout the plant. The plastic is then wrapped, rolled and delivered to what's called a thermoform station. Well, we unwind the, uh, the plastic into a very long oven where we heat it again, and then we'll form it in a forming station. We'll follow it through and see what happens to it. What happens to it involves a vacuum, lots of pressure, and believe it or not, more uh, recycling. You can imagine uh, if, if you're cutting cookies out of a, 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 a piece of dough on a counter, you get a round cookie and then you have all this dough left over. We put it back through, grind it up into little pieces and put it back through the extrusion process. In the end, all of the plastics in this plant become some sort of container in their next lives. Uh, that'll end up being a fresh cut salad base. Not sure who Eric goes, but it'll end up someplace with celery and carrots and tomatoes. And it has taken several days, most of it in delivery trucks, but a plastic bottle like the one we bought in Washington has become a salad tray in North Carolina. Dozens of workers, hundreds of kilometers, and tons of plastic. All pieces of a waste industry that seems to waste as little as possible. From Peninsula Packaging in Wilson, North Carolina, Arash Arbasadi for VOA News.